What's up, internet? Siyempre, pagbili natin ng mga PC components, gusto natin yung reliable, yung maasahan. And for most of us, that means choosing the proper brand. Ano ba hinahanap natin sa brand? Number one, quality. Okay ba yung performance? Okay ba yung components? Okay ba yung reputation nila? And number two, pag may nasira, kasi walang brand na 100%. Kahit sobrang ganda nung quality, nung components, may masisira talaga dyan eventually. Kamusta yung repair and replacement policy nila? Okay ba sila kausap? Mabilis ba yung repair? Paano natin malalaman kung ano yung okay na brands? For most of us, that means tinatanong natin yung makaibigan natin, yung kapamilya natin, yung may experience na nakabili na nung Samsung or Noctua, tapos sila magsasabi na, oo, oh, oh, yung Galax, okay yan. Oo, oh, oh, yung Corsair, okay yan. There's nothing wrong with that, pero sobrang liit lang nung sample size. Yung experience lang nung individual na yon yung natitake into consideration. So baka nga totoo, maganda yung Samsung para sa kanya. Never siya nagka-problema dun. So he's one customer out of ten. Pero the other nine customers, nagka-problema sila dun sa brand na yon Nothing wrong with relying on individual recommendations, but the limitation is, yun nga, individual lang siya. Hindi niya alam kamusta siya for a large group of people. Yung may alam nun, or yung may large data set na makakasabi na, oo, oh, oh, nakabenta na kami nung ilang libo, ilang thousands of units na yon at masasabi talaga namin na reliable yon yun yung mga PC shops. Yung problema, di yun mag-share. <laughs> Wala silang motive to share because one, baka nagbibenta sila nung brands na hindi ganun kaganda. Negosyo, di ba? We know it happens. Maganda yung profit margin ng isang brand na to, mabenta naman, sikat siya, Benta na lang natin kahit alam naman natin na paminsan, di ganun kaganda yung quality. And of course, number two, gusto rin ng big PC shops na good relationships with the brands. Ba bakit sila makikipag-away pa sa brands kung inamin nila sa customer na, ah, ito, hindi ganun ka okay, when it's in everybody's best business interest to have a smooth relationship. Pero, well, yung Hardware Sugar, if you've been watching any of our videos, if you ever bought from us before, alam mo na yung philosophy natin dito, open and transparent. So, di naman kami yung big PC shop, but we have spent around 4 years na. Ilang hundreds of items na rin na nabenta namin of all different kinds of components. So, kami na magsasabi, based on our experience as a PC shop with a large data set, ito yung mga brands na talagang okay in our experience. Kada PC component, kakwento namin, ano yung mga brands based on our experience as a PC shop, yung nakita talaga namin na quality yung maasahan mo. Pero bago nun, kahit anong hardware binibili mo, you'll need Windows, and yung talagang trusted namin na provider for activation codes is our sponsor. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Akal ito. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished. May legit working CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin lang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com Simula tayo sa CPU and you really only have two choices, either AMD or Intel. Yung good news, quality sila pareho. It's very rare pag sira yung computer, yung CPU yung problema. Usually, it's some other part. Although, nakita na rin namin, once in a blue moon, na yung CPU yung problema. But when it is the CPU that's a problem, di ka problema sa replacement. Both AMD and Intel, we've had good experiences getting replacement CPUs from them. So, both brands pass both tests. Both are quality, and both are easy to deal with if you need an RMA. Next up, GPU. Ito, maraming brands. So we have the usual suspects. Yung ASUS maririnig mo throughout this video because they're a brand which makes a lot of different components and usually quality sila. Paulit-ulit lang sasabihin ko about ASUS is na quality sila, walang problema, madali din yung RMA. Although medyo pricey sila paminsan. But for quality and for RMA, walang problema yun. MSI for GPUs is the same. Quality na slightly mahal. And okay din yung RMA process. Easy to deal with, easy to get a replacement. Yung Zotac, hindi ganun ka uso sa atin. Although they are a big brand and quality din products sila, medyo same category sila. ASOS, MSI, Zotac, in my mind, quality yun. Okay naman yung replacement. 
yun nga, medyo mahal lang yung tatlo na yun. So yun yung mga top tier na GPUs in terms of both quality and price. Yung medium tier would be something like Galax. Galax is good brand or palit. Okay yung presyo nila, medyo medium range yung presyo. Pero yung quality, assured ka, walang problema. We've actually sold quite a number of both Galax and Palit. Never nagka-problema with Galax. Iilan lang ata nagka-problema sa Palit. I think isang beses lang ata nagka-problema sa Palit. So they're cheaper than the previous brands mentioned, but you can be assured of their quality. Gigabyte and Sapphire, same category din, medyo medium range. Maasahan mo din, although with Gigabyte, at least in the past year, more Gigabyte cards come back to us. Yung upside nun, at least okay yung RMA process nila. Madaling kausapin si Gigabyte, papalitan naman nila yung card na yun. So, we do still recommend Gigabyte GPUs. We do still stock them. Hindi naman ganun kataas yung failure rate. It's just more noticeable than the other brands. Or it's a bit higher than the other brands that we usually carry. Some other brands also within that medium tier are Sapphire, Red Devil, Power Color. We don't really have a lot of experience to be honest with Red Devil and Power Color. Yung Sapphire okay naman. We do occasionally sell them and so far walang problema with their performance. We've never actually had to use an RMA sa pagkatanda ko for Sapphire. Pero yung mare-recommend ko talaga na good price and good quality is Colorful. Hindi siya ganun kasikat. And if you do know Colorful, baka isipin mo na budget brand siya. We're actually quite surprised and very happy na may ganun na quality at this price. We've sold a lot of Colorful GPUs. Usually, we like to stock them yung medyo lower tier. So, 3060 up to my 3070 Ti, parang ganun. Uh, and they've always been very reliable. May minor lang na bumili sa amin recently na walong 3060 Ti's and then yung feedback niya sa amin sobrang okay. Sobrang good yung performance, tapos yung temperatures niya mababa lang. And using, hindi pa naka 100% fans nun. Mababa pa lang yung fan curve nun. So Colorful is actually a surprising brand that we're happy to stock. Kasi good value for money, reliable siya. And... Yung RMA niya, never pa actually na kami naka-RMA. In spite of the fact na ang dami na naming na benta na colorfuls, wala pang bumabalik sa amin with the problem. Motherboards naman tayo, and if you watch a lot of the videos, alam mo na a quality motherboard is sobrang halaga niya para dun sa overall stability ng system mo. We actually stock very limited brands sa motherboards kasi we only trust a very limited number of brands. MSI is very good for motherboards. Medyo top tier sila, medyo mahal sila, but you can be assured na quality sila. Madali rin naman yung RMA process. Ganun din si ASUS. Medyo mahal, pero magandang quality, madali din yung RMA process. So very similar dun sa experience natin sa GPUs, dun sa ASUS and MSI. My personal brand and one that we also stock in the shop is Gigabyte for motherboards. Sobrang... Ilang taon na na yung sa personal rig ko, Gigabyte yung gamit ko sa motherboard. From their Ultra Durable line to their Oros line. Basta kahit anong line nila, quality yun. I mean, my personal preference and also based on our experience in the shop, maganda talaga yung quality ng Gigabyte motherboards. Yes, wala talaga 100%. So kahit sa shop, we've had some experience na kailangan ibalik yung board ng Gigabyte. In that case, madali naman sila kausap and usually mabilis yung replacement board. And since we're on the topic of Gigabyte, that's an interesting case study kasi maraming big manufacturers na iba-ibang components ginagawa. So may GPU sila, may MOBO, paminsan may RAM, may storage. Over a wide variety of product categories, may item sila. Pero just because maganda sila sa isang category, hindi ibig sabihin na maganda rin sila sa other category. Nabanggit nga natin si Gigabyte sa GPUs, okay naman sila, we still sell them in the shop. Sobrang excellent sila for motherboards, pero sa PSUs, infamous sila na hindi maganda. So that's just one example na kailangan mo talaga piliin per category. Hindi ka lang pwede mag sa isang brand sa lahat ng categories. Although, meron din ganon, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. Finally, for motherboards, we have also stocked ASRock before. Eh, I'm kind of iffy about ASRock to be honest. Dati, magandang quality nila and I do have a good friend, si Marvin, na nakita mo sa Pwede Magtanong, who did like them before. Although, medyo, we've carried them in the shop before. Sikat yung Steel Legend series nila. Pero yung, in terms of quality, I've, we found them to be a bit unstable. So medyo, uh, I'm a bit on the fence about stocking ASRock uh, continuously. 
it, their quality yun nga, hindi ko lang sila kasing maasahan compared to Gigabyte or MSI or Aorus. At least doon sa experience namin dito sa shop. Pagdating sa RAM, one of the top of mind brands is G-Skill at marami silang iba't ibang lines for RAM. So you have the Trident Zs for RGB, you have the Rip Jaws na naka-heat sink pero walang RGB, and then you have the sort of lower range na Aegis line. They are a top brand, especially for RAM, and we do carry them a lot. Marami na rin kaming nabenta. Okay naman yung RMA nila, madaling kausap. In terms of quality, usually okay, but personally, I find that for a top brand, mas maraming returns than I would be comfortable with or that I would expect. Medyo marami na rin kaming na handle na iba't ibang problema with G-Skill RAM from the RGB not working. May isa nga kami experience na parang may kulang na chip sa die and we had to send it back. So, they are a top brand. We still do carry them. Uh, we still do recommend them, in fact. Although, yung return rate is a bit higher than I would expect from a top brand. Another top RAM brand is Corsair, but we don't carry a lot of Corsair. We, they have the Dominator Platinums, they have the LPX line. But in our experience, medyo maselan yung Corsair, yung compatibility yung problema. Other RAM that would work fine in that system, pagpasok mo sa Corsair, biglang ayo na magboot yung system or nagaka system instability. So I am a bit wary about stocking a lot of Corsair. And because medyo mahal sila, hindi rin sila ganun fast sellers in the shop to be honest. So Corsair is quality, but do make sure to check the QVL or the compatibility list kung bibili ka nung RAM nila. That said, yung RMA, usually walang problema. Mabilis naman yung Corsair sa RMA. Those are some of the top tier brands. But going to the mid-range and the lower tier, actually very reliable sila. One that we really like is Team Group, which is... I mean, kita mo pa lang. So this is the non-RGB of Team Group. Ito yung RGB ni G-Skill, yung Trident Z. Ibang-iba yung packaging. So, mas mid-range talaga si Team Group. Pero sobrang okay sila. Value for money and the quality. We've never had any problems with Team Group RAM at marami na rin kami na benta. Kasi sobrang okay talaga sila for their price. You can get 32 gigabytes, 3,600 MHz. Usually, mas mura sila and by a significant price compared to some of the other brands. They do have more high end options such as the T-Force Extreme so yung RGB nila may Delta Tough RGB sila and things like that we have tried some of those as well have reviewed some of them as well sobrang okay quality nila gamit nga namin si Team Group sa test bench namin sa shop kasi assured kami na quality yun na working yung RAM na yun so pagpasok namin sa test bench alam namin na hindi RAM yung issue when we use it so Team Group very recommended both for their quality and for their price Yung isa pang okay na brand for their price and quality is Colorful again, which na recommend natin dun sa GPU segment. Colorful has good quality RAM, never by nagka issues sa compatibility with different systems. The price is usually good compared to other brands. So far, wala pa kami problema. We can't report on kamo siyang RMA sa kanila since medyo limited pa yung sample size namin for Colorful RAM. Another well known brand for RAM is Kingston, which we usually carry sometimes. Okay naman yung quality nila, usually okay yung compatibility, never kami nagkaka-issue, and usually the price is lower than let's say G-Skill or Corsair. Kingston is another popular option if you're thinking of RAM. Paminsan we have Kingston, paminsan we don't, but in our experience, when we have sold it, never naman kami nagkaproblema sa kanila. One of the top brands for storage is Samsung, and we can honestly say totoo yun, sobrang quality ng mga SSDs ni Samsung. Never pa kami problema actually with any of the Samsung drives that we've sold but you're paying for the quality. Sobrang mahal nung premium na binabayaran mo for the Samsung brand and for that assurance of quality. So yes, they're top tier but you're definitely paying top tier prices also. A good alternative is Crucial. Sobrang okay din quality ni Crucial, we never had any problems and the price is a lot less than Samsung. At yun yung maganda when we're comparing brands. You can have basically roughly the same quality but at a much lower price. Personally, yung isang brand na gamit ko for storage in my PC is Crucial. Ito nga mismo, yung MX500. Never ako nagka problema. And even with our customers, we recommend Crucial. No one has ever come back to us with any problems. So, magandang alternative yung Crucial if you still want that quality. Premium brand din siya, so medyo mahal pero hindi kasing mahal ni Samsung. 
On the lower end again, pero sobrang quality pa rin, is our favorite also recommendation, Team Group. So we, you remember them from the RAM portion of this video. Sobrang okay din yung storage nila. Uh, we sell a lot of the MP33, some of the MP34s. And it's true, may mga bumabalik naman. Occasionally, may babalik na Team Group SSD. Yun nga, walang brand the 100% sigurado hindi papalpak yan. Pero mabilis naman yung RMA nila. And considering the number, like ang dami talaga namin na benta nito. Usually, we recommend this to all of our customers, an MP33 NVMe SSD na Team Group. Considering the number na nabenta na namin, iilan lang naman yung bumalik with a problem. And when there was a problem, mabilis naman yung RMA. I do also use Team Group in my own personal rig. I have an MP33 NVMe. And that goes to show yung tiwala ko sa kanila that I use them also in my personal build. Sa hard drives naman, well, the usual suspects. We have... We usually carry Seagate. Reliable brand. Online, you'll see a lot of people complaining about Seagate. But to be honest, we've never had any problems with them. None of our customers have had to come back. And you know, it's a hard drive. This is proven technology. So it's quality. They're a well-known brand. And their items are usually good. Never kami nagka problema. Aside from Seagate, for hard drives, you also carry WD, so Western Digital. Again, never kami nagka problema. I do use a WD Purple in my own rig. And so far, walang issues dun. We've sold a lot of WD hard drives over the years. Again, no problems. We also have sold some Toshibas. Yung Toshiba, interesting, hindi siya ganun ka-performance na hard drive. So medyo mabagal yung RPMs niya compared to some of the others. Pero reliable sila. Um, and so they are an interesting option if you do want, if you can find it for a little cheaper since di sila ganun kasikat for hard drives compared to Seagate or WD. Okay din naman quality nila. I just can't comment about the RMA process We've never had to send a Toshiba back for RMA. Yung palaging advice sa mga PC enthusiasts is always get a quality PSU. Pwede ka medyo barat konti sa CPU cooler or some other components, but don't cheap out on the PSU. And it's very important to choose the proper brand. Nabanggit nga natin earlier in this video na Gigabyte uh, is infamous na hindi okay yung PSUs nila. Yung famous for good PSUs is Corsair. And masasabi namin na totoo yun. Corsair is a quality brand, so the quality, top-notch. Personally, I used for a long time uh, the RM750X na Corsair line. Sobrang okay yung Corsair, and that's also been our experience in the shop. Pag yung PSU Corsair, maasahan mo yun. Reliable yun. And to be honest, I know, we've sent back one or two. So, iilan lang naman na, na RMA namin na Corsair. Mabilis naman, na-replace naman. So overall, very good brand for PSU. I would personally recommend it. Okay yung experience namin with Corsair. Yung isa pang top tier brand na sikat for PSUs is Seasonic. Uh, we have sold a lot of these guys kasi yun nga, sikat yung Seasonic. And it's true, quality naman sila. Although to be honest, same yung experience namin with G-Skill na, in my opinion, parang medyo maraming bumabalik. For a top tier brand with a good reputation, in terms of volume of returns, it is a bit higher than what we see from, let's say, Corsair. You know, 98% of our customers will be very happy with the Seasonic. It's just that the rate of returns is a bit higher than what I would expect. Other PSU brands that have a good reputation and are good quality are EVGA. May experience ako direct RMA sa EVGA. Okay naman sila. Actually, I was very impressed. You can see that in the video above. Quality, maasahan mo yung EVGA. Yung isa pang top tier na brand na di, di ganun kasikat and we have carried them before also is FSP. Yung maganda sa FSP, they're one of the few brands that still actually manufactures their own PSUs. And quality talaga sila. Kahit yung budget range nila, yung HV Pro ata, yung medyo lower end range, sobrang okay. We used to sell them before, uh, dami namin na benta nun, and konti lang talaga bumalik. So I would be, we have also reviewed some of their PSUs in the past. Yung current PSU ko ngayon sa rig ko ngayon is an FSP. So based on my personal experience as well as dun sa experience ng shop, masahan mo rin yung FSP. And we've never actually had to RMA, so di ko masabi kamo sa yung RMA experience sa kanila. Those are top tier brands though, so medyo mahal sila konte, especially yung Corsair. Pero there are brands na medyo up and coming na hindi pa sila ganun kasikat sa PSU. Pero sa experience namin, okay din sila. And one of those brands is Deepcool. So we do carry the Deepcool DQ750. 
na review namin and we started selling them in the shop. Wala pang customer na bumalik to say na oh nagka problema yung PSU. Props to Deepcool. Di sila known for their PSUs. Medyo uh, undiscovered gem pa sila, but we like carrying them in the shop. Mas mura din sila, so 80 plus gold. So matas naman yung 80 plus certification. If you're kind of curious, ano ba, bakit mahalaga yung 80 plus certification, you can see our Biblica series. We have a recent video there where we explain everything about computer hardware, including a PSU and bakit mahalaga yung 80 plus certification. So the link is above. Pero yung, yung deep cool DQ 750, 80 plus gold, sobrang okay yung quality, uh, 80 plus gold siya, and the price is very good. So yun yung maganda sa medyo lower tier or hindi top of mind brands. Usually, quality sila at a better price. The ones that we also like recommending na hindi ko nun kasi cut for PSUs is Cooler Master. Um, we had one experience before na we use a Cooler Master 550 watts for a medyo high-end system kasi kumbaga uh, panakip butas lang siya while we were actually waiting for the replacement. Pero nakailang buwan siya na walang problema dun sa high-end system. 550 watts lang. Ever since then, we were super impressed with Cooler Master PSUs. We started carrying them in the shop. And yun, uh, mabenta sila. They're a good price, good quality. Never pa kami problema with a CM. At least from what I recall, never pa kami problema with a Cooler Master PSU. For AIOs, we have everybody's favorite NZXT. Sobrang mabenta to. Usually, quality naman yung NZXT. But... Occasionally, we do have some problems with them. Like yung current na gamit ko sa rig ko, NZXT, na binilik ni customer kasi nagkakaproblema sa lighting. Pero when we tried it, okay naman yung lighting. So intermittent yung problema, di rin namin mabalik sa supplier, di rin namin ma-RMA, so napunta lang sa akin. Occasionally, we have some where the fans fail. So, not to say na madalas to, hindi naman ganun ka bihira magkaproblema sa NZXT. But my concern with the brand is that when there is a problem, medyo matagal yung RMA process. Usually, binabalik pa yan sa China. Like literally, galing dito sa atin, ship back pa sa China para i-approve ni NZXT main or yung NZXT Asia region, head, whatever na o oh, palitan yung item na yan. So, bihira naman magka-problema sa NZXT, AIOs, but in our experience, we have come across some problems, rarely, occasionally. And when that does happen, when we do have to send it back, medyo matagal yung RMA process. At hindi rin mura yung NZXT. These guys come at a premium, especially for their Z series na may LCD display. So sobra sikat yung NZXT for AIOs, with good reason. Ganda nung display nito, ganda nung RGB, good performance. But occasionally, something will go wrong, and when something does go wrong, medyo mabagal yung RMA nila. Another top tier brand for AIOs is Corsair. Ito wala talaga akong masabi. Corsair is yeah, good quality. Again, also very beautiful RGB which is, you know, aesthetics are important for AIOs. Pag sa RMA, I can't remember a time na we had to RMA uh, or I think once, parang may one or two times. Sobrang bihira lang magka-problema sa Corsair AIO, and nung nagka-problema, di naman issue. Okay naman yung replacement. Corsair is not cheap, they're also a top-tier brand, but you do get the quality and the support that you're paying for. But uh, marami namang ibang brands yung AIOs. We have the ROG. ROG does have a line of AIOs. The most recent ROG AIO that we recommended, that we reviewed, we recommended kasi sobrang okay yung performance niya. Mahal lang talaga yung ASUS ROG, so you're paying for the quality, but they are quality. But a very good option for AIOs without breaking the bank is Deepcool. Sobrang okay yung performance ng AIOs ni Deepcool. We haven't had any problems with them. And yun, medyo go-to recommendation namin yan for a good mid-priced, very well-performing AIO na kung magka-problema, naka-focus kasi si Deepcool sa Asia. So ang bilis talaga nung response sila for RMAs, for support and things like that. Walang problema kung magka-problema sa AIOs ng Deepcool. So the Deepcool AIOs generally are very good recommendation. Ganun din yung Cooler Master. Medyo mid-range yung Cooler Master AIOs, good performance. Um, we've never really had any problems with them, so they're a good option as well to consider. Some brands that aren't really that well known for AIOs, but they're... Medyo maganda rin yung selection nila at a good quality. 
Fractal Design, more well-known for their cases, but their Lumen AIO looks quite nice also, and the performance has been good. Uh, or the or, or Arctic. Yung Arctic, hindi pa ganun kasikat na brand dito sa atin, but they're like Noctua. So, German brand, German uh, engineering, and very good value for money daw. We've only started recently carrying this Arctic na AIO. But uh, air coolers, which we'll talk about soon, okay, sobrang okay yung performance ni Arctic. So, I can imagine na uh, okay din yung performance ito. Pero, we haven't had any experience with the RMA. Uh, we've only started carrying this Arctic. So, interesting option, pero wala masyadong data to support whether Okay ba yung RMA nila? And another brand more well-known for their cases rather than their AIOs is Lian Li, but with the Galahad. Same sort of general comments. Okay naman yung quality. Paminsan medyo mahal compared to let's say Deep Cool or Cooler Master. At least with the Galahad, you do get the Unifans, which are very popular. RMA-wise, um... We haven't had any problems, so di ko pa masabi talaga kung kamusta. Yung performance ng Galahad, medyo mid-range lang. We've seen other AIOs do it better. But for the look and for the price, okay na rin sila. But we can't leave AIOs without talking about the MSI AIOs. So if you've been following Hardware Sugar, may video kami last year na may isang MSI AIO na we sold like 14 of them and then pabalik sila ng pabalik. Nakita talaga namin dun sa Core Liquid 240R na biglang hindi na siya nagko-cool. And then when we opened it, may parang blockage or may growth na inside impeding the flow of water. So hindi na talaga siya magko-cool. Wala nang umiikot na coolant inside the closed loop system. That's another good example of don't just rely on the brand for all your product lines. Nambagit natin si MSI sa motherboard, okay siya. Sa GPU, okay siya. Pero pagdating sa AIO, yun nga, sobrang palpak yung Core Liquid 240R. In fairness to MSI, isang item lang naman yun. They do have other products na AIOs, like yung Meg Core Liquid 360R, which we reviewed also, and which also had, you know, good performance naman. So there are other models ng AIOs sila na okay. But medyo, to be honest, na trauma na ako sa MSI. I personally would not get an MSI AIO. It's very hard to see what you're getting for your money. Kung performance, may mas magandang performance sa ibang brands. Medyo mahal sila. Baka yung aesthetics. I do like the aesthetics of some of their AIOs. Pero yung 240R talaga na yun, medyo na trauma ako. As someone who has a PC shop and who has to deal with that RMA. Yun. Again, just a good example of really choose the brands per product category rather than just relying on, oh, gusto ko lahat brand X, lahat brand Y, parang ganon. For CPU air coolers, top of mind and very close to my heart is Noctua. I love Noctua kasi wala silang pake. <laughs> to be honest, like, yung, yung iba mag-RGB, yung iba maglalagay ng display, yung iba mag-AIO, yung Noctua walang pake. Yung pake lang ni Noctua, performance. And hats off, dun talaga sila, number one. Yung previous rig ko, naka-Noctua for years. Nakailang years ako, di ko nga rin ni repaste yung hype na yun. I mean, ibang klase talaga yung Noctua na yun. I, I really should repaste. And if you're tired, kung tamad ka mag-repaste, pwede ka pumunta sa amin. We have cleaning and cable management services. Pero ako personally, medyo tamad ako to do maintenance like that. But Noctua, so good, so quality. If you just want a no mas no fuss CPU cooler, yes, you pay a little bit higher, but it's so worth it. In this video, we've talked about brands na quality naman, pero medyo mahal. And medyo may reservations ako, like yung Samsung. May ibang brands naman na kasing quality for lower the price. Pero dito sa CPU air coolers, my personal opinion is Noctua is worth every peso. You don't want to think about it anymore. You just want it to be as cool as possible. Noctua would be my recommendation. So top of mind and very, very good quality. But there are other quality air coolers such as Dark Rock. So we've sold a lot of the DRP4s. Walang problema. If you're going for mid-range CPU air coolers, then Deep Cool is also a very good option. Ang ganda ng performance ng mga to. We've reviewed the AS500 Plus, the AK620, and I can honestly say that you're getting very good value for money. In fact, kung performance lang, medyo katapat na ni Deep Cool AS500 Plus yung Big Boy Noctua NHD15 or Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. So really, in terms of performance, you're getting very, very good value for money with the Deep Cool coolers. Another option in the mid-range category is Cooler Master. They also generally have very good coolers. 
Arctic is also a good option if you don't want to spend for a Noctua. We've sold a number of the Arctic coolers and none of the customers have come back to complain. And the quality, the performance is also very good. So actually, yung maganda sa CPU air cooler space, if you go with one of the general sikat na brands, you really can't go wrong. Sobrang okay no Noctua, yung Be Quiet, Deep Cool is also a very good option. We're spoiled for choice dito sa CPU air coolers. Ang daming okay na brands na sobrang ganda ng performance. And you've noticed I haven't spoken about RMA kasi konti lang talaga yung parts na maaring masira dun sa CPU air cooler. You have a static passive tower. I mean, you know, no maintenance involved. That's just basically a hunk of metal. Then then you have the fans and that's basically it. So occasionally the fans might fail, but none of them have failed with us at least dun sa Noctua, sa Be Quiet, Deep Cool, etc. Sobrang kasi yun nga, hindi naman ganoon ka complicated yung fans. Manufacturers know how to produce them. They know how to produce them well. So yung isang advantage talaga ng CPU air cooler is that you don't need to worry about it too much. And that's why we can't really speak about the RMA for the CPU air coolers because we never had to RMA them. One thing to watch out for is that there are a lot of little doodads dito sa mga CPU air coolers. Yung mga clips, yung additional wires and things like that. Very occasionally, mangyayari na pagbukas namin, may kulang. So if you're buying a CPU air cooler on your own, I would recommend checking it inside the shop. One of the few items I do recommend na buksan mo talaga in shop para ma-verify mo na lahat ng mga accessories na dapat nandun, nandun. It happens even to the best of brands. Parang napansin namin para sa CPU air coolers na, uh, yun nga, ang dami kasi mga maliliit na bagay, ano no, mga, nahihirapan din yung mga Chinese factory workers na isaksak, I don't know ano nangyari. It's recommended that you check the air cooler before bringing it out of the shop. For cases, let's start with brands that we don't usually carry. So yun yung mga Rack, Techwear, Dark Flash, Fantech. Yung brands na yun, very popular and they're very affordable. They're good value for money. Okay naman yung quality for what you get. Yung concern ko lang dun, hindi ganun ka-enjoyable to build in them. Kung ikaw mismo bubuo ng computer mo and you've done a bunch of builds, you know what I'm talking about, parang yung mga features na makita mo sa more higher-end cases, wala dun sa kanila. Yung pet peeve ko, it's sometimes very hard to find information for the cases of those brands. Yung ibang brands kasi, malinaw yung, oh, ito, ito yung model ng case, tapos malinaw na ito yung GPU clearance, ito yung CPU cooler clearance, ito yung size na AIO na pwede, ito yung mga ilang fans na pwede. Yung ibang models for those brands and some of the sort of budget brands, hindi sila mahilig to post that information or hindi ganun ka up-to-date yung information or they're not as conscientious. So yun lang yung downside sometimes for those budget brand cases. But at Hardware Sugar, medyo may case fetish kami. So we have a lot of different brands. Thermaltake, NZXT, Corsair, Fractal Design. And by and large, a lot of them are good. We don't have any problems with them. So just to break it down, NZXT, another popular choice for cases. For sure, quality yung NZXT cases. Yung price din nila, you know, you're paying for the quality and hindi naman exorbitant. Parang di mo naman feel na grab it. Sobrang taga naman itong NZXT na to. We've sold a lot of NZXT cases. 99% of the time, walang problema. Very rarely, sometimes the one of the case fans won't work. And mahirap magka-replacement in that case. Again, we've talked about replacement problems with NZXT in the past for AIOs. Ganun din. Usually, walang problema sa si NZXT. Um, but when a case fan does fails, it is uh, a little hard sometimes to get a replacement. Corsair, very good quality. Good value for your money. Medyo mahal sila, but you're getting what you pay for. Never pa kami nagka-problema with a Corsair case. And again, cases usually are like CPU air coolers in the sense na very few things can go wrong. And at least, usually, yung cases, palaging complete naman yung kasama ng accessories. I can't recall a time na uh, may missing dun sa accessories package nung case. Palagi naman dun yung tempered side glass panel, palagi naman dun yung mga wirings or things like that. Itong case segment na to boils down to usually okay naman yung quality for the brands that we carry. NZXT, Lian Li, Fractal Design, Thermal Take, Cooler Master, Deep Cool. Walang issues sa quality. Yung problema lang sometimes is the RMA. 
it's hard to get replacement case fans. And usually, sobrang okay si Deep Cool. We do like Deep Cool cases a lot. Me just slightly higher lang yung return rate nila or yung napansin ko for yung fans, yung kasamang stock fans ng cases. They do tend to fail just a little bit more than compared to other brands. But we do still like Deep Cool a lot. We recommend them. It's not it doesn't fail at such a rate na parang big deal. It very it happens, yes, but rarely. So generally for cases, if you go with quality brands, yung mga sikat na brands, you do get the quality. The metal is thicker. There are nicer building options like routing canals inside, like the Velcro, like better cooling, better airflow. Cases are one category na usually if you go with a good brand and you like the look, you like the aesthetic, then you're, you will get the quality that you're paying for. Paiba iba rin yung price ranges nila. NZXT, Corsair, premium brands, medyo at the top tier. But Fractal Design has other cases that are even more expensive. If it's a quality brand, you're getting that quality. Bottom line, mahalaga talaga to get a quality brand. Na quality yung components and quality yung RMA process nila. But I hope what you most got from this video is that you can get quality without breaking the bank. You don't need to pay top peso para lang assured ka na, oh, never to masisira. There are a lot of brands, some that I personally favor, some that based on shop experience, masasabi talaga natin na maganda, na hindi sila yung pinakamahal, but in terms of quality, katapat nila yung pinakamahal. And I hope you have a PC shop that will recommend to you those good brands, hindi lang sila puro benta ng benta. Ah, ito sir, pinakamahal, yan yung kunin mo. Hindi siya ganun. Yes, you pay for what you get, but there are options that are better value than others. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.